Okay, thank you everybody. Thank you, Danka, Danka. Uh, now, it's obviously very, very exciting times here ahead of opening day for the Berlin Flamingos, and I am very, very eager to set my flamingos free and watch them fly. Do flamingos fly? I'm not sure either. Anyway, do we have any questions? Nico Schweinsteiger, the Berliner. You have two untested starting pitches uh, for this season. Is this a concern? Yeah, look, mate, I mean, you call them untested. I prefer to call them undiscovered. Uh, you know, we're going to give these boys a chance. They're talented pitchers, and hopefully they're going to show the world what they can do. You begin with the Bonn Capitals. Uh, last season, they're making the playoffs. Can you win? Yeah, look, mate, I'd like to think that we can. I mean, it's certainly a good test for us early on in the season, and it'll let us see exactly where it is that we stand. The spring trainings, how do you reflect on them? Yeah, look, I think we can take a lot of positives from it. Uh, I mean, we did lose a few close games, um, but, you know, the fact that we're close, I think we can, uh, we can draw confidence from that, and we certainly finished on a high as well. So uh, we start the season believing in ourselves, yeah. Hey guys, it's Mozzie Villain, and welcome to episode 3, club 2 of the Baseball Journeyman with the Berlin Flamingos in the uh, German Baseball Bundesliga. And today, I feel like we officially, well, we do officially move past the Silicone Storks, as we are going to be playing our first game with our new club. We're going to be playing Bonn Capitals. Uh, now, they are, they were a playoff team last year. You can see they had the uh, honor of opening the league already, and they have won their two games against uh, Doran Wild Farmers. Um, so this is going to be a, a bit of a baptism of fire for us uh, as well, which is, well, we'll see where we stand nice and early here, won't we? Now, we have, if you uh, missed last episode on Thursday, I put out sort of like a, a pre of what, an opening day preview uh, to meet sort of our opening day lineup. So if you haven't watched that, maybe do just give this a pause. Go back and watch that, see the players that we have, uh, the trades that we've done and all that sort of fun stuff. Um, but I thought the best thing to do today would be start by having a look at spring training Um Spring training itself went okay. Uh, we, we won two, lost four, um, which is fine. Uh, we, you know, we did, we sort of got better the longer that spring training went. So that's not too bad. But if we do just quickly go back to the preseason predictions here, you can see preseason predictions had us playing 500, which is what the owner wants us to do. Um, so that's not too bad. Uh, winning 14, losing 14. Um, yeah, uh, ERA is a little high, but I think you can see it's a high ERA league, uh, it seems like. Uh, we didn't have anybody, uh, you know, expected to be among the top uh, hitters, but look at these batting averages, predicted batting averages. The, everyone in that top 10, I think, I'm assuming it's 10, is over 400, so that's ridiculous. We did have uh, pitcher Abar, one of our new starters, uh, in the top 10 for pitchers. Uh, but even, I mean, his ERA was just under five. So it gives you a rough idea of the sort of league that we're in here. Um, I hope you like runs because... I think there's going to be quite a few runs uh, coming around this season. Uh, we've predicted they hit uh, 17 home runs as well, which would be nice if we could do that. Um, but yeah, I'm really interested to see exactly what it is that we're going to find ourselves in here in this German league. We're going to have a quick look at the schedule. Well, actually, we'll have a quick look before the schedule at uh, the front office to see a reminder of what we are expected to achieve this year. We're expected to play close to 500 ball, um, which... You know, preseason predictions said we should do uh, bang on. So hopefully that comes true. Uh, improved stats, bullpen ERA. It was it was ridiculous last year. I think it was over ten. So um, I can't remember what it was, but it was high. So hopefully we'll manage to do that. We haven't acquired an MVP as of yet, uh, but I didn't have any money. You know, you can't get MVPs for nothing. And the long term objective uh, for our three years at the club, uh, even though I think we have a two year deal, but you know we'll be here for I would imagine for at least three years if we're going to try and win this thing with uh, with this team. Um, um, build up a team to reach the playoffs. So that's what we'll be looking to do. Uh, we've got a demanding, economizing uh, owner as well. So it could be, it could be maybe not a long time, but a short time. Hopefully a good time. We're here at the Berlin Flamingos. Uh, we can see last year they played just under 500. And of course, the year before that, the first game, sort of in-game, um, they played 500 bang on. So hopefully we'll get back up into the green there. Um, yeah, we can see budget history is going up every year. And it'll be a good, I think, we saw it at the Storks, didn't we? First season... See what we have, who we want to keep, who we don't, and we can kind of go from there. But have a look at the a quick look at the schedule and how spring training went. You can see we lost our first two games. Um, a narrow one, though, in game one, which was fine. We did win a game here, uh, lost two more narrow ones. And then look at this, 20-8. to eight, The bats woke up finally. I mean, it's concerning that we conceded eight runs anyway, but 20 runs. Sorry, yeah, 20 runs on 27 hits. Our final hit out in our preseason. So... 
that gives you a rough idea, I think, that we're, you know, we're coming into this lot looking too bad. Uh, but let's go and see exactly what we can do. I'm excited for this. Let's have a look at the lineups for the first game of the season against the Bond Capitals. Now, one thing that is unique with this league is that you play two games in the one day. So ideally, we are going to want uh, Kaledi to go deep into the game here for us so that, you know, the bullpen is, is fresh for game two should we need them there. But it, it, it is very, very much unique. Uh, thing with this league, but we're going to have uh, Roshek leading us off in center field. It's uh, it's Tovar leading us, uh, batting second in right field. Jimmy Kowale bats uh, third. He's at first base. Byron Mills, the catcher, bats four. Reshuck, the designated hitter, bats five. It's Aldrich in left field, batting six. Nico Kanapin bats seven. He's the shortstop. Frudendorfer, he bat or Frudendorfer, yeah. He bats eight. I'll get there eventually. He's at third base. De Dennis Seale, who is an absolute muppet with a bat. He bats nine. It's Vince Coletti. Now, a big uh, credit goes to Michael Jensen in the comments. I didn't notice this, but Vince Coletti, we can't really see here. He has just an amazing set of uh, of chops on him. So it's going to have to be Chops Coletti. No, I can't show you here. Hang on. Let's get out of the game and we'll go back and have a look at it. There we go. Admire. Admire. <laughs> Those lamb chops, absolutely incredible. Uh, so actually, we, we will have to call him chops, won't we? Uh, because they, they are just too good. So big credit to, uh, to is it Michael, I think, Michael Jensen uh, in the comments who noticed that. Because I did not. All right, let's go. Should probably tell you who we're up against first. We're up against Chris Reed here for them. Uh, he looks to be a decent enough uh, pitcher here. Uh, our head scout has him rated slightly better than uh, the OSA ratings. Last season, though, he led the league in ERA of 1.74. Uh, whip of just a smidge over one. So this is he's a good pitcher in this league. So let's hope uh, he has an off day, perhaps. All right, and here we go. Now we are away at home, away from home for this one. We're field of the capital, it looks like. Uh, and let's see what Rochek can do. Uh, like I say, I don't. This guy supposedly was a staff uh, for the team in the previous seasons. So we'll see. We'll see what he can do for us here. Here we go. First at bat of the Flamengos era, and it's a strikeout. So there we go. Tovar comes in now. Young Spanish right field up. He walks. All right. We have our first base runner as the Flamingos. Uh, and let's see what uh, Jimmy Kawale can do now. Come on, Jimmy. No, he strikes out as well. And we haven't really looked like hitting a ball yet. Byron Mills comes up to bat. Mills, he has grounded at the second base. And that is going to do it for the first innings. Unfortunately for us. All right, now we get to see what Chops can do on the mound. Look at those things, they're incredible. Timo uh, Shua comes up. He's batting 250 so far this season. Of course, they've played two games already, which we have not. And Coletti's first batter as a Flamingo ends in a walk. Not ideal. Come on, Chops. It's Brank to the plate now. He has grounded it. Has he? No, he's got it through the shortstop. And suddenly, they're none out, two on. And... <laughs> <laughs> oh, what have we got ourselves into here? It's Granberg, who's batting 556 so far this season. 1-0 and is the count. He gets it out there into center field, and that is probably going to score a run, is it? No, it's not. But loaded bases, none out, and this is definitely a baptism of fire for Coletti. It brings up Joyce to the plate. He is batting 375. First pitch swing, and that's deep. Oh, dear. Not the start we were looking for. A grand slam in the bottom of our first innings. We're yet to get an out. And, yeah. Well, it can only get better from here, can't it? It's uh, B, D, B, D, this guy's batting. Batting 7-14 so far this season. And another walk. And I'm beginning to wonder if Coletti was a good signing. <laughs> I'll be honest. Lankhurst comes up now. That's been popped up. And oh, is it going to be an out? Is it going to be an out? There it is. Our first out with the Flamingos. And we've only conceded four runs trying to get it. All right. Now this is where Coletti now. He's got the taste of blood. And he goes on a tear. That is over just to his uh, right-hand side there. There's two away. Runner goes to second. And let's see what we can do now with Goebel to the mound. Uh, to the plate, sorry. Batting 200 this year. Oh, and two's the count. And there it is. All right. We'll just pretend that the first four hitters didn't happen and everything's looking good. It's David Research to the plate now. Let's see what he can do. He strikes out. Okay. The thing in your hand, boys, you've got to swing it. Try and hit the round thing. It's Aldrich to the plate. First pitch. Aldrich, he's, well, it's a hit. It's bad on ball, which is something. Centerfield's going to swallow it. 
and that is two away, but it's progress. It brings up Nico Canapin. Let's see what he can do at the plate for us here. He strikes out as well, and let's be honest, we don't look like we're going to get anywhere near these guys, do we? Yen Jakob to the plate, batting 167 so far. First pitch swing. He gets it back up the middle for a leadoff single. All right. Come on, Vincey boy. It's uh, Shu back up. He's uh, over. Oh, he walked last time up, didn't he? Oh, and oh. First pitch swing. Oh, the... It looked like he went to steal and fell flat on his face. But anyway, it's been, it's been popped up. There's one away. Tovar makes the catch out there in right field. And the runner goes back to first. It's Brank to the plate, who's one for one today, batting 667 so far this season. That's the ground ball. That should be one. And it is just one. For a second, then, I thought maybe we were a chance of a double, but no such luck. Grandberg comes up, one for one today, batting 600 this season. Full count on him. Two out, runner at second. And has he got the strikeout? No, he's walked him. Two on, two out for Joyce, who of course hit the Grand Slam last time up. Three and O oh is the count. Come on, Chops. You were so close to getting out of this innings, and he's loaded the bases again. Oh, walks are killing us, aren't they? D. Bendotto comes up. He's O for O, batting 714 this year. We're going to walk in a run. Oh, Coletti, Coletti, Coletti. You had two out, mate. Lenkhurst comes up. He's 0 for 1 today. Batting 222 this season. Don't walk in another one. Oh, Jesus Christ. What, what are you doing to me, Coletti? What are you doing to me? Rasek comes in. The catcher. Is this a pinch hit? No, he's 0 for 0 today, though. Uh, oh, sorry. Batting 0. And that's... Anyway, I've, he's got a hit now. And that's going to score 1, is it? Is it going to score 2? Tovar gets the throw in. And we're going at a cool ERA of four runs and in innings. What's four times nine? That's a lot. And that'll do it for Coletti. And in comes Brown. And oh no, this this is going to be a cricket score. Come on, Brownie boy. Strike him out, mate. A horrible first outing from Chops. That should be caught out there in left field by... Who's in left field? Aldridge, I think, isn't it? And that ends the innings. But another four runs given up. We're eight nothing down. And Frudendorfer comes up to bat. His first at bat in professional baseball. And I sense a strikeout. Yes, it is. Oh, this could be a long, disappointing day at the plate for us, couldn't it? Seely comes in now. Seely. Oh, the worst guy in the team has got himself a base hit. So it's Dave Seely with the first hit as a Flamengo for us. One out single, and it brings up Roshak. And maybe the second time through will explode. Full count on him. He walks. All right. All right. Here we go. Brings up Tovar now. He walked first time around. What can he do this time? He can strike out for two away. It's going to bring up Kowale. And can he get us on the board here? One and one's the count. Two out. Kowale gets a piece of it, but it's going to be caught out there in right field. And that will do it for the third. But at least we had multiple base runners. So that's something. Uh, Harvey Brown comes back out. You can see here he's just not a good pitcher, but he can't do much worse than Coletti, did he? Well, famous last words. I shouldn't say that while we're still going here. He walks. He's the first man as well. And Timo Schwa comes back out to bat. He's 0 for 1 today. 2 and 2's the count, and that is well hit into right field. Tovar fields it on the bounce, and that is 2 on none out. And Brank to the plate. 1 for 2 today. That's slapped into the right side of the diamond as well. Right field has it. Get it in, mate. Eventually we get it in, and that's going to be another run across the plate. And we still have not gotten out yet in this third innings. Is there a mercy rule in the German Bundesliga? Granberg comes up. This is ugly, isn't it? It's getting ugly. Popped up. That should be caught out there by Roshak. We know he's not the best fielder. He does make the play. The runner gets to third. That's one out with runners at the corners. And what we wouldn't give for a double play now, please, Brown. Joyce comes up already with one home run today. And we're going to load the bases here, aren't we? Oh, dear. Brown has been taken out of the ball game. Jesus Christ, it's French fries coming into pitch now. Let's see what he can do. Full count. Come on, Frenchie. Oh, he's walked another run in. This, this, this team might be the death of me. Is it too late to resign and find another club? That is a ground ball. That could be two. There's one. There's two. All right. Frenchie with a double play. 
And we're twice as good. Look at that. Only giving up two runs in the third. We are 10-0 down after three innings. Jesus. All right, it's Mills Jr. coming up to bat now. He's 0-for-1 today. He strikes out. That brings up David Roach. Let's see what the designated hitter can do. 0-2 is the count on him. And he strikes out. Let's remember, this was the best pitcher in the league last year, playing for the best team in the league, or one of the best teams in the league last year. So, we probably don't want to panic, but a little bit of panic, I think, is probably not misplaced. French Fries comes in now to face Reshack, second, second or th probably the third or fourth time around for him, isn't it? Two and two's the count. Frenchie with a strikeout. All right, there we go. That's more like it. Gerbil comes up now. He is 0 for 2 today. 1 and 2 is the count. Is Frenchie going to get back-to-back -back strikeouts? Oh, yes, he is. Have some of that. French fries. Absolutely smashing it. Jacob comes in now. He's 1 for 1 today. 0 and 1 is the count. He slapped that to first base. And, oh, my gosh, it's a scoreless innings. Amazing, amazing stuff. Much, much more like it. Unfortunately, the game is pretty much dead and buried at this point. But it's Nico Canepin to lead us off. He's 0 for 1 today. And, oh, he's hit it. I was expecting a strikeout at 0-2. <laughs> there we go. Caught out there in right field, and that is one away. Brings up Friedendorfer. Second time at the plate for him. 2-2 two and two's the count. And he strikes out again. Sile, who, of course, has our only hit so far of the game. And that's a strikeout. How many strikeouts is that now? Ten strikeouts through five innings. Jesus. All right. French fries to continue to Schwa. He's one for two today. Three and one's the count. Are we going to walk another leadoff, man? Yes, we are. I've got a cat hair stuck to my nose or something. You're still wondering why I'm attacking my nose. Brink comes up to bat. He is two for three today. That's back up the middle. And that is going to be runners at first and second with no one out. We've seen this show before, haven't we? We've only given up eight hits, and that's, you know, that's really, really frustrating. French fries now to Granberg, and we're going to walk another one. And, yeah, I'm thinking maybe we need a new pitching coach. No one out, bases loaded. It's Terrell Joyce, who's already hit one grand slam today. And, oh dear. That's two grand slams in one game for Joyce. It's 14 to nothing after five innings. And yeah, this this is this is not good, is it? And we've got we've got to play these guys again today. And our bullpen has already gone to work here. One thing I suppose we could do is look to use uh, another strikeout. Glatzer comes in to pitch for us now. As French fries ends on a, a relative high of a strikeout. We could use maybe Coletti out of the bullpen for the second game. It's not like he did much this game. A leadoff walk or a first bat walk there for Glatzer. Now Glatzer's actually one of our better pitchers. So if he can't get the job done here for us, then we are in all sorts of trouble. There's one, there's two, and that'll end it. All right. Just the four runs in the end with the uh, Joyce Grand Slam. And you're getting to the point where uh, uh, scoring a run here is going to be a massive victory for us. Roshek strikes out. 11 strikeouts this game now for Chris Reed. Tovar comes in the bat. He's 0 for 1. He, of course, did walk. 1 and 1's the count. Tovar hit that really well. It's Tovar. Got one back. Hey! Gabriel Tovar. A first home run of the season. 396 feet. And, oh, my gosh, the Flamingos have scored a run. Go on, Tovar. Excellent stuff. And that is 14 to 1. And here comes the comeback. Kovar. Now, what's his name? Kowale comes up to bat now. He's 3 and 0. Oh. He walks. And here it is. This is the comeback. We've just given them a false sense of security. Here we go with Mills Jr. 0 oh for 2 today. Mills Jr. gets a piece of it. And that's going to be caught out there in right field. And back to first will go Kowale. And that is 2 away. Riley uh, Barr comes on now to face Reshuts. Let's see what we can do with him. A swinging bunt. I don't think we're going to beat that out, are we? Maybe we are. Oh, he does. An infield hit. What is this witchcraft? Two base runners at a time. And it brings up Aldrich to bat now. Let's see what he can do. Come on. 
He's hit it down towards first base. That's got through, and that just about might score a run. It just might score a run. We are, It's a double. It's an RBI double, and well done to Aldrich. Uh, all right, it brings Canop into the plate with two out. Can we get a bit of a two-out rally going here? A hit into the outfield might score two, but instead he walks, and we'll take it. We've got loaded bases. We've got loaded bases for Friedendorfer. Uh, yet to ever have a hit in professional baseball. This would be a hell of a time to get it, mate. Two and one's the count. He's got it back up the middle, but it's popped up, and it's going to be caught, and that's going to end it. We straight leave the bases loaded, but a few positive signs there, perhaps. Glatzer to face Jacob now. He is one for two today. One and two's the count. Glatzer with a strikeout. All right. We'll take that. Thank you very much. Uh, Schwell comes up to bat. One for two today. Full count on him. He strikes out. Oh, go on, Glatzer. What a beast he's looking to be. All right, and it's Brank now, who is three for four today, batting 667 so far this season. Have some of that, Glatzer. He was a starter for us last year, us as in, you know, for, for the Flamingos. His stamina, I don't think, is good enough for it, but we might need to look at using him a little bit more if this is what he can do. Seale comes in the bat now, one for two. He is today. First pitch swing, and Seale, has he got himself another base hit? No, he has not. Apparently, he's the slowest man alive. That's one away. Nicholas Wagner comes in. We are giving up. We are pinch hitting with the uh, with the benches. So, Nick Wagner to the plate now. What can he do? In to replace Roshak, and he's got himself a base hit. All right. A one-out single for Wagner. Tovar continues, of course, with the home run last time up. First pitch swing. What can he do? He has lined it straight to third base. Unlucky. He's actually looked quite good, hasn't he? I mean, that's a well-hit ball. It's maybe slightly unlucky. Julian Prade comes in the bat. Now, this is one of the new signings coming in for Kowale, which is a little bit annoying. Um, again, it's not the worst hit ball, but a regulation ground ball to second base, and that'll do it for the seventh. We stretch in deep, deep doo-doo as Glatzer comes back out. You can see his stamina is only 35. So I don't think he's got the stamina to be a starter, but... I mean, you don't want to you don't want to call or panic or you know that or call Coletti out on one bad start against a really good team, but he's going to have to do a hell of a lot better than that, isn't he? Uh, they're pity hitting on us now. It's uh, Klinsinger who is first at bat for the season for him. Full count, and Glatzer walks him. All right, it brings up uh, Vela, who is again first hit of the season. I don't like being pity hit against. That's been popped up. Hopefully Tovar will make a catch out there for us in right field. He does. And he's looked solid. Now, if we're already looking towards next season, which judging off of this, I think we might be, um, Tovar definitely looks like someone we want to keep. There's a swinging bunt. Can Sile make the play at second? Oh, mate, that's the only reason you're in the team is because you can play second base half decent. And that's a two-out single. Rayshek comes back up. One for three. He is today. Come on, Glutz up. Strike out to end the innings. All right. Again, we've only given up 10 hits. So, I don't know whether... Um, I am definitely like reaching and grasping for positives. Mills Jr. pops it up into left field. It's deep, but it's not deep enough, is it? It's going to be caught out there for one away. Uh, Research comes up to bat now. He's uh, one for three today. One and two is the count on him. But if I am looking for, for these positives... We've given up 10 hits of those, you know, for 14 runs. So, obviously, accuracy in pitching is a problem for us. I'm hoping maybe as the season goes on, we'll get better at that. Aldrich uh, has popped that up into right field, and that will do it for the eighth. But, yeah, it's... I mean, he's dead here, isn't he, Glatzer? I mean, you do wonder, it's the last inning, so we just bring Carr on. But we probably want at least one fresh pitcher in the bullpen, don't we, for game two? Um... Let's hope Abar, who was in the predictions predicted to be the better of the two pitchers. Um, let's hope that uh, he can go deep in game two or else. Yeah, I'm glad you're not going to be seeing that one. Here we go. Dominic Werner comes in. We do have another fresh pitcher. None out. Runners at first and second. Let's see what Werner can do here. One and two's the count. Werner. Oh, that looks like a nice little uh, dipping ball there. Excellent stuff. One away with the strikeout. It's Brent coming up. Three for five. He is today. Two and two's the count. That could be a double play, you know. There's one and there's two. Well done, boys. Well done. Uh, yes, they've sort of... Well, they're not sort of. They have definitely taken their foot off the gas. But 
you know, they, I'm not, I, I, I'm, as I said, I'm grab, grasping for positives, but it's not been, it's not been too bad. I don't, I, I don't think the score necessarily is a completely fair reflection on the game. I mean, two grand slams can happen, but a lot of, um, a lot of walks as well, you know, which makes the, the two home runs look a lot worse than they would have been because we've, we've helped them out giving them base runners. But, yeah, this look as though it will be the last out of the game. There it is. Run, CLA. He's going to get out. So that does it. We've been absolutely smashed on our first game at the, at the Flamingos. But, yeah, well, it's done now. So there we go. I mean, it's, it's a loss. A loss is a loss. You know, it doesn't matter if we lose by 1 or by 12. You know, we've still lost the game. They are a good team. Um, but that wasn't pretty, was it? It really, really wasn't. I mean, look at some of these ERAs that we've got now. 43 <laughs> <laughs> 18s, 27s, um, yeah, and that's just game one, but you know what, we'll, as I said, we'll, we'll dust ourselves off, we'll go again, uh, we've got them again, you know, which I will show off camera, because nobody wants to see that again, uh, and we'll kind of see where that, where that kind of leaves us, um, I think what we'll do is we'll come back next episode for, we'll do game two of this uh, Hamburg series, uh, so we can see our other starter, so we've got a few games between now and then, and yeah, like I say, I don't want to panic, Coletti, I still think, you can see, he should be good, he should be better than that, um, so we won't panic, we'll give him a chance, see how he does, but, yeah, this might be a long season, guys, if you have enjoyed that for some reason, please do hit thumbs up, don't forget to subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you next time for hopefully a little bit of a closer game, take care.